The Nintendo 3DS system software is a set of updatable firmware versions and software front-end on the Nintendo 3DS family of video game consoles. Updates, which are downloaded via the system's internet connection, allow Nintendo to add and remove features and software. All updates also include all changes from previous updates. <laughs> Home menu The home menu is a graphical shell similar to the Nintendo DSi menu and Wii U menu for Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo 2DS systems. It is used to launch software stored on Nintendo DS and Nintendo 3DS game cards, applications installed on an SD card and DSiWare titles installed in the system's internal memory. Application icons are set in a grid navigable with the touchscreen or D-pad, and may be rearranged via drag and drop. The amount of icons per column can also be changed, from one icon up to six. The menu can display up to 120 application tiles. On the upper screen, a special 3D animated logo is displayed for each individual app, as well as system information such as wireless signal strength, date and time, and battery life, while on the bottom screen, application icons are displayed. It is also possible to change the screen's brightness while in the menu. Using the home button, users can suspend the current software that is running and bring up the home menu, allowing the user to launch certain multitasking applications, such as the Internet browser and Miiverse. Similarly to the Nintendo DSi, the menu has upgradable firmware. Game cards can also be hot-swapped while in the menu. The power button prompts the user to either put the console into sleep mode, or shut it down. On April 25, 2012, a system update brought the introduction of a folder system. Up to 60 folders can be created. Applications can be dragged on top of a folder in order to move it, and from then on, more apps can be added to the folder using the same procedure, up to 60 apps per folder. A title for the folder is automatically created in order of creation from 1 to 60, but the name can also be edited by the user. Only the first character of the title will be displayed on the folder's icon. When apps inside folders receive StreetPass or SpotPass notifications, a notification icon will appear on top of the folder on June 20, 2013. A system update brought the introduction of the Save Data Backup feature. This feature allows the user to back up save data from downloadable Nintendo 3DS software and most virtual console games. Creating a backup of save data allows users to delete software from the SD card without losing save data. The backup created will then be automatically restored when the user re-downloads software from the Nintendo eShop. A total of 30 save data backups can be stored at a time. It is not possible to backup save data from retail versions of Nintendo 3DS software, DSiWare, and Game Boy Advance software. On October 6, 2014, the 9.0 system update brought a revamp of the entire home menu with the exception of the multitasking applications, while also adding support for themes, allowing users to further customize 
customize their home menu with a theme that adds new backgrounds and changes the folder icons, background music, and sound effects to match the theme. A new application called Nintendo Badge Arcade released in December 2014 in Japan, and November 2015 in America and Europe, allows yet further customizing of the menu, by using badges that are won in a pay-to-play crane game. These badges can then be accessed, used via an additional menu within the home menu that is installed upon loading the game and then placed and removed like normal software icons, folders. Some badges act as shortcuts to access specific pre-installed applications, such as StreetPass Me Plaza. <laughs> Nintendo 3DS Camera Nintendo 3DS Camera is a built-in photo and video recorder with an integrated media gallery and photo editing functionality. The app uses the system's two front-facing cameras to take 3D photos, and the user-facing camera to take regular 2D photos. All photographs are taken at a resolution of 640 times 480 px VGA, or 0.3 megapixels. In addition to manual recording controls, timers can be set to take a photo 3 or 10 seconds after pressing the take button, or by means of voice commands such as saying OK. When wishing to take a photo, SD cards can hold up to about 3,000 photos. Because photo data size can vary, the number may be reduced by two, or it may not decrease at all. There are various options and filters available when taking photos or recording video. In addition to the normal mode, there is a low light option, which is useful when taking photos and recording video in dark lighting conditions. Other options include manual controls such as the color type normal, black and white, sepia, negative or solarize, sharpness, contrast and brightness. Real-time photo filters are also available including sparkle which adds moving stars to the photo. Dream, which adds a dream-like bright light to the photo. Pinhole, which lightens the center of the screen and darkens the edges and. Mystery, which adds a random finish to the photo. There is also a special mode called. Merge which takes a photo of the user facing the inner camera and merges the photo from someone facing the outer cameras. On December 7, 2011, a system update added the ability to record 3D video along three special recording options. Interval shot allows sequences of images to be recorded in short timed intervals to create time-lapse photography. Frame pick edits still images together to create stop motion animation, and montage lets the user pause and resume recording seamlessly. Videos can be recorded for up to 10 minutes. If the SD card doesn't have enough space, available shooting time will be reduced. However, all recording modes only allow a single video to be up to 10 minutes long. Despite being more advanced than its predecessor, the software has fewer features than its predecessor, Nintendo DSi Camera. Even if there's enough free space on the SD card, it can hold a maximum combined total of 3,000 photos and videos. Topic. 
Nintendo 3DS Sound Nintendo 3DS Sound is a built-in music player and sound recorder. Supported audio codecs include MP3 audio with MP3 filename extensions and AAC audio with MP4, M4A, and .3GP filename extensions. Audio files can be played from an SD card, with visualizations displayed on the upper screen. Music can be played while the console is in sleep mode, using the system's headphone jack. When using headphones with an included mic and button, the button can toggle play, pause and skip to the next and previous track. A set of sound manipulation options are available, as well as several audio filters. 10-second voice recordings can be also be recorded, edited with audio filters, and manipulated through modulation and playback speed. Users may save and modify up to 18 of these in the console's memory and up to 180 on an SD card. These can then be used throughout other applications such as Swapnote. There's a StreetPass function built into the app. When the user StreetPasses someone who also has StreetPass enabled, both users exchange song data such as the song's name, artist, album, release year, and how many times it's been played. There is also a compatibility chart between the users involved. Depending the amount of matching songs from both users a score will be displayed, ranging from 0% to 100%, with the latter being the most compatible, despite being more advanced than its predecessor, the software features fewer filters and themes than its predecessor, Nintendo DSi Sound. Topic Pre-installed applications Health and safety information Nintendo 3DS, DS Game Card Launcher Nintendo 3DS Camera Nintendo 3DS Sound Me Maker Street Pass Me Plaza Nintendo eShop R Games Face Raiders Activity Log Nintendo Zone Discontinued in some regions Download Play System Settings Topic downloadable applications YouTube United States, Canada, Europe and Japan only Netflix United States and Canada only Hulu Plus United States and Japan only Swapdoodle Swapnote SpotPass Discontinued Nintendo Badge Arcade Nintendo Video Discontinued Eurosport Europe and Australia only Discontinued in December 20 2012 Flipnote Studio 3D only released on eShop in Japan offered as a My Nintendo Reward Worldwide Save Data Transfer Tool Topic <laughs> Multitasking Applications The Nintendo 3DS is capable of suspending an application and running one of six multitasking applications. Once a game or application is running, the user can press the home button to suspend it and open the home menu. It's then possible to open another specially designed multitasking application built into the system without closing the currently suspended software. Attempting to open a game or application while another is already running will result in a prompt. These multitasking applications include Game Notes, which allows users to write and save notes, with screenshots from both screens of the current suspended software present to aid the user. 
Friend list, a list of registered friends, with information such as their current status as well as current, favorite application. Up to 100 friends can be registered by exchanging friend codes. The top LED light will flash orange if a registered friend comes online while the 3DS is active not in sleep mode. Notifications – Whilst receiving notifications the top LED light will flash either blue or green, depending if it is a spot pass or street pass notification, respectively. Internet browser Miiverse, a social networking service dedicated to games and other applications, comments and software screenshots could be posted on dedicated software communities. It was discontinued. Camera, a lightweight version of Nintendo 3DS camera with most features omitted, accessed by holding the L and R buttons. Unlike Nintendo 3DS camera, QR codes can be read by the camera. Home menu settings, a section that allows users to change their theme, add, remove badges, change the screen brightness and toggle power saving mode at any time. Miiverse and the Internet browser are disabled while certain software such as Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS are suspended, due to that software's high usage of the 3DS's resources. However, this is not the case with the new Nintendo 3DS, which has upgraded hardware to allow this. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Network features. Topic: <laughs> 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 Nintendo Network. Nintendo Network is Nintendo's unified network infrastructure similar to Sony's PlayStation Network and Microsoft's Xbox Live, and succeeds the previous Nintendo Wi-Fi connection service. The Nintendo 3DS was the first system to support the new network infrastructure. Nintendo outlined that, while Nintendo Wi-Fi Connection had been created as a way for developers to experiment with their own network infrastructures and concepts, the Nintendo Network was created to be a fully unified network service. The new network infrastructure provides the means for a unified online multiplayer experience and other online interactions such as leaderboards and communication, as well as software downloads and streaming media services. The Nintendo 3DS uses a friend code system much like the original Wii to connect to the network, with the exception that only one code necessary for each console. This makes it much easier and more flexible for players to interact with each other over the Internet. Regardless of this, as of November 18, 2012, some Nintendo Network services require a Nintendo Network ID account in order to be accessed, such as Nintendo eShop and Miiverse. This account can be shared with a Wii U and with future Nintendo consoles. The Nintendo Network Administration team has moderators on staff to remove inappropriate content from its services, such as Miiverse. Topic SpotPass and StreetPass StreetPass is a close proximity data exchange functionality which allows game content to be exchanged between Nintendo 3DS systems. 
Using the console's background connectivity in sleep mode, a Nintendo 3DS can automatically discover other Nintendo 3DS systems within range, establish a connection, and exchange content for mutually played games, all transparently and without requiring any user input. For example, in Super Street Fighter 4, 3D Edition, if the user passes by someone with the same software, they will initiate a battle to collect trophies from each other. Each application's StreetPass content is stored in one of 12 data slots in the console. Using this data slot, Nintendo 3DS users can readily share and exchange content for multiple games at the same time whenever they are connected, regardless of what game card is currently in the console. SpotPass is an always on background network connectivity system which can automatically seek and connect to wireless network nodes such as Wi Fi hotspots. Send and downloading information in the background while in sleep mode or playing a game. SpotPass also makes uses of certified hotspots with partners such as AT&T in North America and the cloud in the United Kingdom. Users are able to connect to these hotspots automatically and free of charge. Content that can be downloaded via SpotPass include full game and application downloads, firmware updates, patches, and specific in-game content. It can be customized to fit the user's preferences, including opting it out altogether for selected software. An application similar to an e-book reader is being considered to use this functionality to automatically acquire magazine and newspaper articles. On August 5, 2013, a system update introduced a new feature called StreetPass Relay. This feature allows users to exchange StreetPass data when passing by a certified Nintendo Zone hotspot with the last Nintendo 3DS user to pass by that same hotspot, if he or she too had StreetPass enabled. In the United States, there are over 29,000 Street Pass relay points, while Europe is set to see approximately 30,000. A day later, the feature also became available in Japan. On date, StreetPass relay points were updated in North America and Europe to allow up to six users to be stored for exchange instead of one. <laughs> StreetPass Mi Plaza StreetPass Mi Plaza is a StreetPass application which comes pre-installed on every Nintendo 3DS system. In it, players meet other players' MIIs over StreetPass and online through Nintendo Network, and interact with them. In this application, the player's Mi can be customized with hats earned from mini-games, along with a short customizable message and other information. When new Mi characters are encountered by the system, they will appear at the plaza gate. The player can then use them to play various mini-games before encountering more Mi characters. Meeting the same Mi characters multiple times adds extra functionality, such as personalized messages and the ability to rate them. The application comes with three minigames, while further minigames can be purchased optionally. <laughs> Nintendo Zone Viewer Nintendo Zone Viewer was a built-in application that detects and makes use of certified SpotPass hotspots. When a hotspot was detected, a notification would appear in the system's home menu. 
In this application, users could see game trailers, game screenshots, download game demos and view information about current and upcoming Nintendo 3DS titles. After the player leaves the hotspot the app remains on their Nintendo 3DS system, although no content can be accessed. Topic. Firmware The Nintendo 3DS firmware can run in four different modes. Native underscore firm is the native running firmware for Nintendo 3DS software including the home menu. Safe underscore mode underscore firm is used for safe mode applications, such as the system settings and system updater. TWL underscore firm is the Nintendo DSi's native firmware and it is used for Nintendo DS, DSi backward compatibility. Finally, AGB underscore firm is the Game Boy Advance's native firmware and it is used to run Game Boy Advance Virtual Console games. The native underscore firm is different for the new Nintendo 3DS. Topic. Nomenclature The nomenclature of a firmware version, as it's shown on the 3DS system settings, is divided into three parts. The first three numbers, separated by periods, represent the firmware version without eShop features, which is the one stored on retail cartridges. The number after the dash represents improvements related to the eShop and can only be obtained via online update, and finally, Finally, the letter at the end represents the region of the console. The possible letters are for China C, Europe and Australia e, Japan J, South Korea K, Taiwan T, and the Americas U, which are the six regions with exclusive firmware releases for each. Topic. History of updates Version 1, version 1.0 released on February 26, 2011, was the default system software version included with every original Nintendo 3DS at launch. Version 1.1 made some enhancements such as improvements in overall wireless connection. Version 2, version 2.0 released on June 6, 2011, added the Nintendo eShop and the Internet browser, as well as the support for system transfer from a Nintendo DSi or Nintendo DSi XL system. It also introduced the over-the-air Wi-Fi system update feature. Version 3, version 3.0 released on December 4, 2011, added new features for Nintendo 3DS Camera, new content for Street Pass Me Plaza, new features and usability improvements for Nintendo eShop and support for 3D video recording. It also allowed system transfer between two Nintendo 3DS systems. Version 4, version 4.0 released on April 24, 2012, contained usability improvements to Nintendo eShop, the ability to add folders to the home menu, and the ability to patch games both retail and download. Version 4.1 was pre-installed on launch Nintendo 3DS XL consoles. Version 5, version 5.0 released on March 25, 2013, added the ability to perform sleep mode downloads of purchased titles even while Nintendo eShop is running and added support for save data transfer tool. 
version 6, version 6.0, released on June 17, 2013, through 6.2 made changes to the StreetPass Me Plaza and Save Data Backup features as well as adding the StreetPass Relay functionality. Version 6.0 was pre-installed on launch Nintendo 2DS consoles. Version 7, version 7.0 released on December 9, 2013, added a software update notification and supports for Nintendo Network IDs and Miiverse. It patched the MSET exploit for good, and it also removed the limit to system transfers and changed the startup method of Nintendo 3DS camera from the home menu. Version 7.2 contained improvements to parental controls. Version 8, version 8.0 released on July 7, 2014 was a minor update. Version 8.1 was pre-installed on Japanese launch New Nintendo 3DS and New Nintendo 3DS XL consoles. Version 9, version 9.0 released on October 6, 2014, added the ability to use themes to customize the design and sounds of the home menu. Versions 9.3 added the ability to randomly shuffle through multiple themes, and 9.6 added the ability to save home menu layouts. 9.6 is also the last update that does not use the official changelog used for all other subsequent updates, which states, "...further improvements to overall system stability and other minor adjustments have been made to enhance the user experience." Version 9.0 was pre-installed on European, Oceanian launch new Nintendo 3DS and European, Oceanian, North American launch new Nintendo 3DS XL consoles. Version 9.8 was pre-installed on the North American release of the new Nintendo 3DS as part of the Animal Crossing, Happy Home Designer Bundle. Version 10, version 10.0 released on September 8, 2015 was a minor update. Version 10.7 was pre-installed on the Super Mario 3D Land new Nintendo 3DS bundle, exclusive to Target and Walmart in the U.S. Version 11, version 11.0 released on May 10, 2016 was a major behind-the-scenes security update. See also Other gaming platforms from Nintendo Nintendo DSi system software Wii System Software Wii U System Software Nintendo Switch System Software Weather gaming platforms from this generation PlayStation 4 System Software PlayStation Vita System Software Xbox One System Software Weather gaming platforms from the seventh generation PlayStation 3 System Software PlayStation Portable System Software Xbox 360 System Software